Hey everyone, so there's a new AI video platform that's just been released and it is pretty impressive. It's also free, so does that mean it's time to cancel your Gen 2 subscription? Well, not just quite yet. So today we're gonna take a look at this new tool and why I think there's a little something special about it, what it really excels at, and where it needs some work. Okay, let's dive in. So this is Moon Valley, one of the newest AI video platforms. It's currently in beta, and I should mention that this isn't one of my full deep dives. It's only been out for like a week, and there are definitely a lot of features that have not been yet implemented. That said, even at this early stage, its outputs are pretty remarkable. So I definitely think it's worth taking a look at. Now, again, there is some functionality that we've all gotten used to at this point that has not yet been implemented in. Things like image prompting, panning, or changing your aspect aspect ratio aren't there yet, but probably will be within a few weeks. But to be honest, I'm kind of finding that I'm enjoying that about Moon Valley. The text prompting is the best I've seen right out of the gate from any AI video generator yet. Motion is really smooth, has kind of a cool stylistic vibe to it, and is actually fairly coherent. And just to check myself, I should point out as I, you know, wax on nostalgically about the good old days when we just, you know, text prompted for our AI video that it was only six months ago that Gen 2 was still in beta and we were text prompting AI video on Discord. To which, here's a quick little 16 second thing that I did in Gen 2 back when you could only text prompt with it and then we'll follow it up with one done in Moon Valley. So Moon Valley is Discord based. There is a link to join the beta down below. And once you're in, it really is just a matter of heading down to one of these new Moon channels uh, to start generating. Generating is pretty easy. We just issued the command forward slash create. Uh, and after which you're given three options, a prompt, a style, and a duration. In terms of prompt style, well, there isn't any documentation that exists yet. So we're all just sort of stumbling around trying things. For example, there was this fairly detailed prompt here, uh, you know, craft a high res image depicting a sustainable harmonious future, uh, calling out things like the architecture, uh, what's happening in the mid ground and what's happening in the background. Um, and, you know, we ended up with a you know, pretty nice video in all honesty. Meanwhile, a shorter prompt like Buddhist monk meditation in Zen garden peaceful atmosphere yielded this, which is also pretty nice. The style section gives you five choices, comic book, fantasy, anime, manga, realism, and 3D animation. Comic book definitely has a very comic book look to it, as you can tell with this cowboy in a Western town. Fantasy, I feel, will run you in a couple of different directions. For example, when I prompted a Viking on his throne, I ended up with this, which to me kind of has that animated arcane feel to it. Um, yeah, it's good. But when I prompted in fantasy for a girl with spiky hair holding a magical amulet, I ended up with this, which is also very good. It just feels a lot more anime and uh, sort of 3D rendered to me. Anime itself is obviously a lot more honed in because obviously there's a greater stylistic base. For example, this is kid in a hoodie in a cyberpunk street. And um, yeah, that is, you know, 100% anime. The realistic model I do tend to find pretty interesting as it looks the most realistic out of all of the various models, but it still doesn't look exactly photographic. It has just a little bit of this Kyber-esque vibe to it, but I don't know, in all honesty, I kind of like it. And just as a note, I did mention earlier that we are all just sort of figuring out prompting as we're going along. There isn't a lot of documentation about this. Uh, according to one of the mods, negative prompting apparently isn't recognized by Moon Valley. Now that said, I did try a few times with uh, dash negative NEG and quote, unrealistic, low resolution, pixelated, animated, ugly, distorted, disfigured, unnatural movement, morphing, close quote. And I did run that a few times and I think I noticed a difference. It could be a placebo effect, I'm not sure, but it did seem to help. This is one that I really liked clearly with the realistic model. This was a woman with a bob haircut wearing a black trench coat, riding a motorcycle through a dystopian futuristic Neo-Tokyo city at night, cinematic. 
uh, muted tones gritty yeah it has a really really awesome look to it it kind of has that rear projection sort of look to it as well which i actually kind of like as a stylistic thing now i will say as always this is ai video so there is bound to be some wonk and it does take you a number of re-rolls to get what you're looking for uh, it is a little bit easier i would say with moon valley i'll explain that in the next section on duration uh, but i just wanted to show you guys this this was an outtake from the ufo thing where uh you know our business suit guy is talking on the phone and um, he kind of just gets really tired around here, just kind of has to take a nap. This would have been a great scene if instead of a UFO, it was like a gas leak in the city. Like it's just like, oh, I got to go to sleep. I do want to point out and to reiterate again that just a few months ago, if you tried to text prompt a video of a man on a street holding a cell phone, uh, this is the guy that you would get, which is still one of the most amazing pieces of video that I've ever seen in my life. I love that phone. And finally, for 3D animation, you end up with, you know, 3D animation stuff. So we'll talk about duration. And then after that, I've got a little tip for creating consistent characters within Moon Valley. It's pretty close in all honesty. So for duration, you have three options, uh, short, medium, and long. They actually give you estimated wait times. I don't know if it's because I'm in early on this, but I have not found the wait times to be as long as the estimated wait times. For long, for example, it says eight to 12 minutes. Minutes, I haven't been anywhere near that in terms of my generation time. Now, one interesting bit that I ran across is that you will tend to get more stable generations if you choose the longest duration. Long generations seem to be around five or six seconds, which actually finally beats the four second wall of both Pika and Gen 2, at least Gen 2 when it is not in extend mode. And I'll say the real bonus with having that extra amount is that generally if things start to go sideways, for example, with our fainting businessman, um, you've generated enough that you can kind of cut around that. One interesting thing about Moon Valley is that you can kind of get consistent characters out of it, which is sort of amusing because you're not even using image prompting in it. Uh, basically, I have noticed that if you tend to prompt for a character with a few attributes, that character is repeatable. For example, in this video where I prompted a 22 year old female model in a black jacket with dark hair, walking towards the camera on a cool street, uh, you end up with this video which is you know, pretty solid. I actually do like the way that it kind of feels like it's a handheld shot. And then taking that same character prompt of 22 year old female model in a black leather jacket and then putting her into a coffee house. She is now drinking coffee in a cool urban coffee shop. We end up with this and it relatively is the same character. Another example here where she uh, walks into a building and hands a cup of coffee to herself. Um, it's a very David Lynch moment, but it is the same character. As a test to see if this was repeatable, I rolled up a Wasteland Survivor with short blue hair and ended up with this gal um, who, yeah, this is a pretty solid five seconds of video here. There is one issue uh, where, I don't know, you guys might've caught it, where our background character here kind of vanishes as the camera pans past. Uh, but again, that's where that extra five seconds of, well, not five seconds, but the extra handful of seconds of video actually comes in really handy is that, you know, we can cut before he fully vanishes and get away with the shot. And we can repeat her in a number of different styles. Here she is in an anime style where our background grunt has respawned. Here she is in a more 3D rendered style. The eye is a little bit wonky, but um, still it's not too, too bad. Yeah, the eye just kind of freaks out there a little bit, but I think that could probably be taken care of with a couple of other re-rolls. And then here was just kind of a standard character profile against a neutral background. So as it stands, I think Moon Valley is off to a really impressive start. So I do highly recommend that you jump in on the beta now and get it while it's free. The text-based model is pretty remarkable. So I'm really looking forward to see how things will develop as they add more features in. So let me know what you think of Moon Valley. And if you do happen to run across any good prompt tips, please let us know in the comments below. I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.